Hello guys! Welcome back to another video. My name is Vanessa if you are new here. It is June 4th, Sunday June 4th, and I think, what time is it? It's 4.30. I am, I just finished packing because I am leaving for a solo travel trip to Charleston today. So, what's this? That's fun. So, I just finished packing. I have a flight. My flight leaves at 8.30, basically 8.30 um, p.m. tonight. So, late flight. I am going to head out to the airport in like an hour or so. And we'll be on our way to Charleston. I'm really excited. Like, this is the first time I feel excited for a trip in a while. And I think it's because I really am going to like Charleston. And I'm just excited. So it will be like a really great way to also kick off summer. Summer's already been great so far. I feel like May was a very summer-esque month and usually it's hit or miss with May in PA. So May was definitely a very summer-esque month and the vibes were really great for May, but I think June, July, August, they're gonna be even better. So what better way to kick off summer than going on a little trip to Charleston? So let's go. down in Charleston. I just got to my Airbnb and it's like 11 o'clock now. So I am literally just going to, I don't even feel like washing my face. Like that's when you know it's been a long day for me, but I'm going to wash my face. Um, that's essential after travel, but I'm going to get myself like settled in here kinda and Hit the hay. Outlets, outlets, outlets. I'm saying this like very old historic Airbnb. And it's like you can, I'll show you guys like a full tour tomorrow. It's not gonna be like as perfect as it was when we came or when I got here, obviously, but it'll be good enough. Getting ready to go to bed. I think I'm gonna actually like watch interesting i think i'm gonna watch like an episode of manifest i'm currently watching that so i think i'm gonna watch an episode of that actually to just like fall asleep to because right now i just feel like on edge so i'm gonna do that but i will see you guys tomorrow morning for a full day of charleston and exploring which i'm really excited for good morning guys it is the next day i am currently out on a walk right now it's like 6.30 or so, but there's literally nobody out. I don't know, maybe that's like not odd, but to me it's a little odd that there's nobody out right now. Even on the streets, there's just like nobody. Like cars and such, but I'm just going on my morning walk. I got in super late last night, so I couldn't explore obviously or like really even see my surroundings so i'm just like exploring getting in my morning walk while doing some work and then i'm gonna go back get myself ready i'm gonna go on a run after my walk i think but i'm just kind of like getting a lay of the land right now um but last night i slept so terribly bad like I was up probably every hour if not like 30 minutes tossing and turning <sighs> so hopefully tonight I can get a better night's sleep because last night was just like I don't even know how many hours of sleep I got but it was probably next to nothing because I woke up at 5 30 then so wish me luck for today thank god I like I'm not planning on going out or like doing anything late at night so because I would not make it <laughs> ready 
for the day. It's so, it took me so long to get ready because we had to do the shower, the makeup, everything. So also I just, I guess I didn't wake up until later today. So I started my workout later and then, you know, start everything later basically. So anyway, I'm so freaking hungry. I am about to head out and go to a coffee shop slash get some breakfast. And then I'm going to plant myself there for a bit and do some work. I actually like on my run slash walk this morning, I saw a lot of the downtown Charleston area, like near the French Quarter and like the historical areas. I saw a lot of that this morning, just through my walk and run. So I don't necessarily, like if I want to do that at some point, I can, but I saw a lot of scenic views on my run slash walk this morning. I went, I don't know if it's the bay, but I was along like the bay slash ocean. I honestly have no idea what bodies of water surround Charleston. I don't know. But guys, do you ever, also I need perfume, do you ever get so hungry to the point where like you have a headache? Because that is where I'm at right now. Like I have a massive headache right now because I'm fucking hungry. I'm trying to feel out what the vibe is for the perfume today. I'm obsessed with this dress though. Obsessed with it. I've been waiting to wear it. It's from Princess Polly. I'll have it linked below. All of my Charleston looks and everything I'll have linked because by the time this goes live, like all of the, all of the outfits will be posted to my Instagram already. Okay. I'm going to do Toka Cleopatra. This smells fucking fantastic. So good. Okay. Love. Now let's head out the door. Finally. I don't know what the last thing I showed was, but I went to Harkin for coffee and breakfast. And I put like an Instagram story up yesterday asking for recommendations for like the best coffee in Charleston. And that was probably the top place that everyone recommended. Um, the most commonly recommended, I guess. But I have to say, you guys know how much I love my coffee and how much of a critic I am. I will have to say that the latte I got was a spiced vanilla almond milk latte. And I will have to say it was really not that good because it just like it might be good to some people that like don't love the taste of coffee but it didn't really taste like coffee you know so I don't know if like people that recommended it I don't know I don't know where where I don't know to me it just wasn't that great so I'm still on the prowl for a really good coffee spot with like good tasting coffee um, and I still got time, but I have a really bad headache right now. I think I need to drink water desperately. I only had not even that much this morning and I normally, it's 12 o'clock, so I normally am on like my second Stanley of the day, aka I'd be on like 80 ounces of water already for the day and I'm like really below that. Oh, I think I'm supposed to turn here. So, I'm gonna go back to my Airbnb and chug a bunch of water. And then I also checked out um, the city market and just walked through there. Um, it was just like nice to walk around. I was on King Street where all of the, well, the main shopping hub is there. So I was there, I, I was there walking around and I went in a few different antique stores. They were definitely a lot, they weren't my vibe, I'd say. They weren't, they, yeah, they weren't my vibe. But they were still, it was still cool to see the antiques. I don't even know how the lighting is, probably so bad. But it was so cool to see like antiques 
from a very historic area and there's a ton of antique stores too in this area like I just didn't I only went in like two of them I think but or maybe even one I don't even think I went in the other one because it was closed so that's the little update I'm enjoying walking around it's like the perfect temperature it's not too hot there's a nice breeze in the air I am like really tired though I think I'm just like I have a headache because I barely got sleep last night so and I need to drink water so I'm going to go back to the Airbnb rest up a little bit and then I'll head back out again later get some like late lunch early dinner and then I'll probably just go to bed honestly early today because I need to catch up on sleep I guess since I'm back I can show you guys the Airbnb and do like a little apart or not apartment tour Airbnb tour so I will start off actually with the entryway actually I'll go outside quick I have like my own little um porch would you say that's like the door that I use and then above I'll show you guys later but that's like the house above and then this is like the little entryway here and to the right you have the bedroom super cute there's like a ton of I don't know if everything is antique but there's a shit ton of antiques in here really really cool space just imagine though like walking into this last night pitch black in the actual airbnb but like all of the blinds are open super dark out late at night all the doors look creepy because this place is old and historic obviously it was just a creepy scene okay it was a creepy scene for a gal alone i would say in like you know a, a place like this but it is what it is it's not that big of a deal we got a little lounge chair a fireplace that i'm assuming doesn't work and then we have the bathroom nothing nothing crazy nothing crazy and then yeah very unique very unique space an old antique little desk here this in here is like a laundry room um and then you go back through the entryway and this is like the most stunning part of it all also like felt really creeped out with that i knew that was going to be here but um you know what if somebody a ghosty decides to like play it in the middle of the night like we need to find i think this is all wood we are knocking hard on the wood. We are staying safe tonight. Okay, anyway. Super cute. It'd be better if like the lighting in here was decent, but it's really not. Uh, let me show you from this angle though. That's better. Very vintage, mid-century, modern feel in here. Some cool antique chairs. I've never seen those before. And then... You go into this room, which is the kitchen. And this is super unique too. Yeah, so you have like a full on kitchen in here. Really, really cool. Love it. Also to set the scenes for last night, I walked in and I went into the bedroom. As you can probably tell from this video now, that the bedroom is at the far end of this apartment and the kitchen is at the complete opposite end. So in the bedroom last night, when I was getting ready for bed, I was hearing like a violin noise. It sounded like a violin. And that's creepy, you know, that's, that's creepy. So I went to go investigate to see where the sound was coming from and here it was coming from the kitchen. And each room has like an air vent in it or an air, I don't know, whatever you wanna say. But it has an air vent in it and the kitchen air vent, like when it kicks on, 
it was making like the violin sound. I don't know. It was just like really creepy. So I just turned it off because I didn't want to, I turned it off and I closed the door for the kitchen. I'm like, if I wake up this morning and the kitchen door is open after I just closed it last night, I'm done. I'm done. I don't, I don't I mess around with that. Also don't mess around with my boob being out. Okay, we need to drink water. I don't know, maybe I'll just do work in here. Oh my God, that thing is a force. I guess it's been a few hours since we last chatted. I, huh, what have I done? I finished watching Manifest. I watched the last episode. And for the fact that it was like an absolute shit show in terms of like this season and just where it went with the show, um, I was like pleasantly surprised by how it turned out. Okay, anyway, I was pleasantly surprised with how Manifest ended up turning out for this season. The ending, so good. It actually just like made it all so worth watching because it was getting a little far-fetched and a little out there for me to continue on. But with shows like that, I'm like, it's so bad, but also I have to finish it out. Like I have to just know what happens. And I was not expecting the ending to end the way that it did, but I'm so happy with the ending. Um, it would have been so tragic if the ending would have been absolute dog shit and would have ended so terribly. Then I would have been pretty pissed. Pretty pissed. But it didn't. So, yeah. Um, I don't really know how many people got watched Manifest. I mean, I probably understand why. But if you watch manifest let me know your thoughts and if you especially watch through the last 10 episodes that just came out on netflix for the fourth season but anyway i was working while i was watching the last episode of manifest and banged out not that much stuff but like some important things that i needed to do um and then i just retouched up my makeup a little bit ago um, and now I'm scrambling to get ready for dinner. I am going to try and get in at one of like the seafood joints that I have on my list. I don't really have a particular choice or like a particular favorite that I really am trying to go to. Um, my whole thing with traveling solo is because I am solo, I wing it. And I have the ability to do that because I'm alone, so I'm taking full advantage of it when I'm alone. Um, this is kind of cute. If these weren't like as greasy as can be. But anyway, um, I was originally going to try and go to these restaurants when they opened at 5 to get in because normally when you travel alone, first of all, traveling alone is amazing because even if like a restaurant is fully booked, I've never been turned down because it's just one person. They figure you're not going to sit there and dilly-dally for hours. Like, even if they have a reservation and if you go early, you can likely get in because they'll give up somebody's table for a reservation at, like, 6.30 um, if it's just, like, one person because they know you're not going to take, like, that full amount of time probably to, like, sit there. So... That's just a little, a little pro tip. Um, also just like trying to go, even if like you have a party of more than just one person, go in right when a restaurant opens if you can. If you really wanna get in at a restaurant because, and you don't have a reservation, because likely they will be able to sit you. I remember we did that when I went to New York Fashion Week two years ago. We were with a group of, I think there were six of us, and we went to Carbone, and I don't know if they had a reservation, and it was only for like four people, or like for just like a small, smaller group, and then like we, me and a few other girls tagged along, and we increased the reservation, I don't know what it was, or if it was just a complete walk-in that we had, or that we tried, but anyway, we went right when the restaurant opened, and we got right in, we were seated, and we were able to leave. So yeah, that's just a little pro tip. If you can be flexible, you'll probably get in. 
So anyway, I'm going to, that's why I'm saying this, because I don't know about the other two restaurants that I have written down, but the one restaurant that I have written down um, that I was going to try and get in at first, they opened at 5, and my whole plan was to be there for when the restaurant opened to get in, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I am not in a rush. I am on my own time. I'm taking the rest of the night to like relax because finally my headache went away for the most part. Um, I just need to make sure that I'm staying hydrated. My headache went away. I'm like surprisingly not absolutely drained and exhausted from getting no sleep last night. So I am going to take the night to just fully embrace um, being here and, you know, being present and just like enjoying my time. So, whew. that's what's up. But anyway, I'm going to finish getting myself ready. I just have to finish my hair. I already have my, pick, my outfit picked out. Um, and then I plan on actually shooting my outfit before heading to dinner. And then we'll head to dinner and it will be great. Pulling on the wrong strings here. All right. Here is the outfit for dinner. I was originally going to be wearing this, like I had planned this outfit for a daytime look, but this is like one of the only dressier things that I brought, I would say. I feel like the perfect opportunity to actually just like wear this outfit because I want to wear another dress during the day tomorrow is to wear it now for dinner. So this is the little fit we have going on here. Also this freaking Airbnb is great. Like aside from the creepy vibes that I got the night that I got here, um, it's not creepy, okay? But it was setting the scene last night, it was for the time being. But anyway, this freaking place is huge. Like literally I could have gone away with just having this bedroom and the bathroom because I very very rarely have ventured out into the living room area and the kitchen like they're both this place is freaking gigantic and the fact that you have your own entryway like it is an older house above when I go outside I'll show you guys the house above but it is an older house so you know you can hear people a lot what, what, what's going on here with this freaking earring you can hear people a lot more clearly than you might if you were like in an apartment complex per se, but it truly really isn't that bad. It's not like people are partying, you know? So, yeah, great Airbnb though. And I got a good deal because I looked, I booked last minute. Pro tip as well, book last minute if you can. Cause uh, prices are cheaper. All right, I am hungry. I'm gonna go shoot and then we'll go see where we can get in for dinner. This is the house that I'm staying in. The bottom unit here is where I'm at. And that's like the full length of the building. And then I don't know what's above here, if it's like apartments or it's a full on house that I'm not sure of. Down here, a lot of houses I've noticed, like big houses like this, they have their own separate entrance. And then just opens up into this beautiful space. to Hank's for dinner. I think it's called Hank's. Hank's Seafood. I'm finding myself loving that area, that general area that that's in, which is like the area in the French Quarter closest to the bay or the harbor. I think it's the harbor. Um, that area is just so beautiful, very quaint, quiet, peaceful, beautiful, all the things. Um, also the area that I'm in, which is like the area directly next to the French Quarter, 
it's like very historical I forget the area name as well but um, I will have this Airbnb linked down below so you guys could see like the general area that it's in but anyway um, I love this area too because it's very residential beautiful quiet I loved my peace and quiet clearly um, anyway we went or I went to Hanks and I ended up just going in they said they were all booked up until 8 30 but they had like room at a communal table and the bar so it's like you got it I'll go to the bar and I'll seat myself and so I went to the bar and I ordered a mocktail I was just like are you guys can you guys whip me up a mocktail and um because I don't know if you guys know but I stopped drinking so I haven't been drinking for quite a few months now um I mean I can completely stopped drinking like back in last last October I had like quit drinking but was still like drinking on the occasion like wine but I'm done so for the time being so I asked for a mocktail and she was like citrusy like does citrus sound good I'm like you got it like whip me something up whatever you want he whipped me up the best mocktail, one of the best mocktails I've ever had. It was like their homemade, they made homemade syrups, which homemade syrups are the key to my heart, if you didn't know. Um, it was like cranberry lime. It was a cranberry lime simple syrup, um, a honey simple syrup. I'm so glad I'm remembering this, actually. It was ginger beer, grapefruit soda, and I don't know if there's anything else in there. Oh, and a twist of orange. He might have said that there was like lemon lime juice in there. I don't know. But all of the citrus, really. And the ginger beer with the grapefruit soda. So freaking good. So anyway, got the mocktail. I ordered clams for an appetizer and I ate them all. They gave me a loaf of bread ate that shit all I was starving when I got to that place because it was a 20 minute walk from here I was already starving when I left my place and then I had to walk 20 minutes and I've been walking everywhere today and everywhere has been about like a 15 to 20 minute walk or so um for the most part so and then this morning I went on that run and I went on a 45 minute walk this morning so your girl's been walking and working out a lot today I was hungry and ready to eat so I literally ate every last bite of all everything except for actually my dinner because there are some things in the dinner that I didn't love but the dinner was so freaking good. It was like a seafood medley. I forget what they called it, but it was like scallops, shrimp. Uh, the tuna swordfish was like, mm. I could eat a little bit of that, but like a lot of it, not so much. So that's kind of like what I left behind. Um, and I think there was crab meat in it. And they had like a grit cake on top. And it was in this like creamy seafood mushroom sauce. It was so good. So, so good. Everything was absolutely divine. So delicious. Um, and it was just a beautiful dinner. And then I walked 20 minutes from dinner to Jenny's ice cream. I got to Jenny's and there was literally a long line out the window. Um, or out the door. <laughs> and... Like, I had just won it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get Jenny's today and tomorrow. So I got Jenny's, waited in line, only to find out that they were giving away free Jenny's so long that you downloaded their uh, app. So I'm like, fuck yeah. Like, it was a sign that I had to go. I got my Jenny's, and then I came back and got myself ready for bed, and now we are here. So... I caught you guys all up to speed. My camera battery is about to die. I've got to put it on the charger. I will see you guys tomorrow for another full day in Charleston. The second full day in Charleston and the last full day in Charleston. So, yeah. I have no idea what we're going to do yet, but I'm going to also plan that out right now. Or loosely plan it out. So, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is Tuesday and it is probably about like 7.30 right now. I got myself ready early this morning. I woke up at like 
I did my whole like morning routine and everything. I was trying to go to an F45 class this morning so that I could like stick to doing a little bit of F45 while I was here and that I would be like in the swing of things when I get back. Um, but the class that I want to go to was waitlisted by the time that I was about to book this morning. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like a later F45 workout class or not. I'm kind of just gonna see where the day takes me. But also I know I'm gonna do a lot of walking today too. And I'm very sore from yesterday because I did a lot of walking and I went on a run and I feel it. So I don't know, I might just keep it casual today and just like stick to walking for my workouts. But I'm about to head out the door. I really wanted to get out early this morning so I could shoot content when it's like not busy out on the streets or anything because yesterday I noticed that like there well actually like even into like 9 10 o'clock like there was really nobody out on the streets um, it was more so like around 10 30 11 that I saw more people start to come out which was super interesting it and overall, it's just like not really crowded, it seems here right now. I don't know. Maybe because it's like a weekday, not a weekend. I, I don't know. But um, yeah, it doesn't seem like the mornings here are crowded at all. So I'm going to go out, get a coffee, shoot, and then I'm going to walk 30 minutes to go to the daily and get breakfast at the daily. I'm trying to hit like as many spots for coffee as I possibly can. So I'm going to get a coffee at... One place that was recommended a lot, I forget the second, second something. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the Daily and also try their coffee too because I've heard amazing things about that and their breakfast. So enough rambling on, I've been doing that a lot. I always do this, I always do it, but let's head out and explore for another day in Charleston. figured I'd update you guys. I went to Second State to get a latte. I always like when I go somewhere new, I always ask like what's your signature? Like what's good here? So I know what to get that I'm not just like ordering something that's not their specialty, if you know what I mean. So they said that their lattes are like their signature and I asked like if there's any syrups that are like signature or made in house or whatever. Um and the girl who was working said they're brown sugar which is so up my alley so i got a brown sugar iced almond milk latte again it's just it's subpar for me um reason being it just doesn't like i want a strong coffee flavor in my lattes i don't want it to taste super milky and i know you know I'm a coffee connoisseur, of course I know what a latte is and what is in a latte, but a lot of like lattes just taste runny, or not runny, uh, um, they taste like watered down and like not that great, so I don't know. I'll have to like figure out what, what I'm going to rate this then, but it's not my favorite thing in the world, so... I am about to, I'm walking right now to the daily. I'm gonna get breakfast there and then I'm also gonna try their coffee cause that was also highly recommended. So I don't know, maybe they'll have better coffee than the last two places. This isn't bad, it's not bad. It's just like, I want my coffee to taste like coffee, if you know what I mean. Guys, this is a freaking hike to get up here. Like, I don't mind walking, I'd prefer to walk, but it's right next to an antique store. And this antique store in particular looks rather trendy. Okay. I'm praying it's open. Looks like it is, or it could be. Anyway, this was a freaking hike, but at least it's a nice day. If it was raining, it'd be a whole other story. And there she is. Black, okay. Well, let me see, can I pop it up here? I just wanted to see while I'm trying. Okay, now we get to the fun part. Charms. How much is this one before I like spend an arm in the way? <laughs> that one's one night. Okay. Zodiac. I'm sure people do like angel numbers. Yeah. <laughs> This is our most popular one for 
for sure. And that's kind of like some more Yeah. I do like that, but I feel like this is more my, my style. Yeah. Are these, I'm guessing, these are the same? Yeah, they're the same. Okay. Well, let's I'm try them so both. Whoever can go should go. So, how does this work then? Okay, like, so wait, actually, it. are you allowed to do that? Like, can I try the charm with? Yeah, so it's super easy I'm for us to take them on and off. Oh, They're okay. not soldered. Okay. Um, so we can just play around and see what we're awesome. And I just looked oh, up. Oh, yeah. Best. Nice. Yeah. You have to How's that vintage store, like the antique shop next door? Have you ever been in? I haven't been, but they say it's really pretty. Yeah? So okay, <laughs> that's where I was actually heading here. And like, oh, I'll just pop in here real quick. Oh, yeah, you should check it out. It's like, like I have a lot of good finds in there. Okay. I love a good antique pen, but I feel like it might be a little too big. Yeah, it might be a little too big for me. Maybe I double up. Can I just like keep it on? Um, my dress is from Princess Polly. It's so cute. It is so stunning. So stunning for Santa. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll just stack them all. Yeah. I just got back from my little adventures. I went to the daily and then um, there was like that vintage store or the antique store right next to it. And then in between the two was a place called Heart. I think, I think so. Um, and it was a jewelry shop and I was like, oh cute, let me just wander in. Um, and it was like one of those places where you get to like create your own necklace and like pick out the charms and all of those things. And I was like, oh my God, so cute. And ooh. so I went in and I like had no intention on getting a necklace uh, during my, my little trip here, but I was like, okay, cool. Like this is a little fun memory from this trip. So I got a little heart necklace with this chain. Like you were able to pick out the chain and the necklace style. So I did that and that was super fun. It's currently 11, 11. It's like still so early. It feels like so much later in the day because I feel like I've done a lot and I've just been up since 4.30, but I'm going to charge my phone. That's the real reason why I came back. I actually got an Uber back because it was about a 30 minute walk and I just didn't want to waste any time. So Ubered back, I'm gonna charge my phone for like the next hour. I'm gonna do some work throughout the next hour and then I'll go back out and like I think I'm gonna go to some shops on King Street and just walk around. I will probably just catch you guys up to speed when I'm heading back out again. We are back out. I am on my way to go do a little shopping and the weather is beautiful now. It's like so sunny, it's hot. And I kept my dress on so it's nice and like light, breezy and maybe I'll get like a little tan with my shoulders and back being out, which is like actually so sweet and perfect because I have a strapless dress on so I won't get any tan lines. So we're gonna go hit the shops and I'll take you guys with. got back from doing my little afternoon outing aka doing some shopping um although i didn't really find anything i went in um charleston or not charleston shop sxc i don't know um a few people recommended this place and if you are ever in charleston you have to go it is the best selection of clothing I think I've ever seen in an entire store. Like incredible selections for clothing and it fits all different vibes for people, but like a lot of trendy pieces, some a lot of really great basics. They have so many amazing brand names in there. So 
They have like higher end pieces like A Goldie and um, Aster the Label and brands like that, okay? Then they have like Middleman, like Motel, um, Lioness, and then they also had a few brands that were like not super affordable and cheap, but a lot more affordable than the other brands, like in the $58, like that kind of range. You know what I mean? Like mid, not mid tier. Yeah, I'd say mid tier. Does that even make sense? I don't know. That's just how I'm categorizing it in my head. So I tried on like a shit ton of stuff, like probably the most stuff I've ever tried on in a dressing room before. There's just so much stuff that I like had wanted and I'm like going through and I'm like, Vanessa, like don't go overboard here. Not like overboard, but like don't get a bunch of pieces that are trendy that you'll only wear like once and that are just beautiful and you like the look of them, but like you really won't get that much wear out of them because there's so many like dresses. If you live in the Charleston area and you need an event dress, I would definitely go there because they have such trendy, beautiful event dresses. Um, so anyway, this dress caught my attention. I've been just obsessed with dresses so far for the spring and summer. So I'm predicting I will likely be wearing a lot of them this summer. So this one was beautiful and I wanted something a little different. It's basic enough, timeless in the, the like wear of it, but like a very beautiful color palette of the orange and pink. I will say um, this fits me beautifully, except for like in the boobs, it's a little big, but I'm thinking if I wear like maybe a push-up bra or something, like it still could be worn uh, without a bra, which is normally what I would do, or like uh, nipple covers, but if I wear it with like a push-up bra or something, it will like fill it out probably a little bit. Um, also, there were so many things that I wanted so badly because they were beautiful and like pieces that I'd get so much wear out of. They just didn't have my size. I got this little shirt. I wear shirts like this all of the time. Like in the summer, I'll just throw them on over like basic tanks. Wear them with jean shorts, jeans. I'll wear them with bathing suits and do like a little cover up. And it's just this really pretty sage color with like a black or gray stripe and white stripes. Super pretty. I think I got this in a size medium. This is from the brand Olivia... Olivia's, I don't know, CS, Olivia CS, I don't know, never heard of it, don't know. This was the brand that I kept seeing everywhere in that shop though, and they had the cutest stuff. It's Med USA, or M-E-D USA, I have no idea. Um, that brand, never heard of them either, and such cute stuff. So, if you are ever in Charleston, or if you live here, I absolutely have to shop at that store. It is Heaven, absolute heaven. Hmm. The dogs are barking. I like need to rest the dogs right now. Um, it's like almost three o'clock. I'm charging up again. And then I'm like deciding on what I wanna wear for dinner. It is really hot out right now. So this dress is like perfect. I kinda wanna switch into something else though. Just, I've been wearing this since like seven o'clock this morning. Um, and then I'm gonna go get dinner. Still have no idea where I'm going yet. But then after dinner, I'm going to go meet up with one of my friends from actually my hometown. Um, we've been trying to get together now for like years, actual years. There's like a bit of an age gap between us. I think like three or so years of an age gap. I think I'm three years. I'm either three or four years older. I forget. I don't know. But I think three. But anyway, when I went to college, we just like didn't get to see each other as much as we did when we were both in high school. And when she went to college then, it was like around the time when COVID hit and all of that stuff and our lives just never aligned to like really get together. So I'm excited that out of all of the places, she just moved to Charleston for like a job um, or like an externship. I think it's like temporary though, like for the summer she moved here. So I'm here and she's here and we are going to go get ice cream together because we both have a strong passion for peppies at home. If you know, you know how much I love peppies. And that was my favorite ice cream shop ever. And she also is the exact same way. So I'm gonna take her to Jenny's cause she's never been before. And I think Jenny's is like the most comparable place to peppies that I've ever been to. Yeah, that is correct. 
So Jenny's is pretty good, pretty damn good. My standards are very high for my ice cream and my coffee and a lot of other things. I'm getting ready to head out the door again. Finally decided on where I'm gonna go for dinner and actually Christina, and I think her friend, her roommate possibly, um, they are going to come to dinner with me. So I'm gonna go to a place that was recommended from my chat GPT Charleston itinerary. Um, I really haven't been following it, but it definitely gave me some good recommendations. A lot of my restaurants here, I'm not like a huge fan of like Southern Eats. Um, like, let me see if my nipple pads or nipple covers are showing. I think I'm in the clear, I don't know. But I'm not the biggest fan of Southern Eats, like grits or I don't know, like, Lay, I don't know. I don't know. I like. I guess I'm pretty picky. I like specific types of food. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of food that they have at like southern restaurants. So it's not that I wouldn't go and eat it. It's just like not my first choice, um, especially when I'm like by myself and I definitely could like go somewhere else that I really want to go to and get something that I really would enjoy eating. So like I. You know, here's the thing. I fuck hard with Mexican food and Asian food. Like, they are my top two favorite food cuisines. And, of course, like, Italian. And, sure, I love American, but I love American more so for, like, a lunch vibe. Um, so, with that being said, there's not as many places like that it's very much southern and seafood that are like the top recommended places um but the one place that chat jpt recommended it's an asian i don't know if it's asian fusion but it's an asian restaurant and their menu and food and vibes look incredible so i'm gonna go there and christina agreed to come and meet me there and then it's also just like a few blocks away from Jenny's. So we're going to go to Jenny's after and still do that, I think. I hope. I'm sure they'll be down. Um, there's always room for ice cream and Jenny's. That's the plan. We're going to meet for like 5.30. It's currently at 4.41. And I have a bit of a walk there. 20 minutes probably, but I've done the work that I wanted to get done for the day. So I think I'm going to just go walk around and see what I get up to in the meantime because I don't feel like sitting around so we're gonna go do that. Good morning guys it is my last day in Charleston it is Wednesday June 7th I think it's around like 6 20 a.m. or so but I just I'm getting myself ready for the day ideally I would love to chuck a huge thing of water before I head out last night went really well um, we just got dinner me Christina and her friend or her roommate and then after dinner we went to Jenny's also the dinner place that we went to um, I do not know how to pronounce it whatsoever, but it was, again, I forget if it's Asian fusion or just Asian, but whatever. It was Asian, but like Asian food like I've never had before. It was super, super interesting, but so delicious. Like interesting to the point of you're looking at the menu and even after asking questions, I still had no idea. It was just things that I've never heard of before. I don't know if it was like traditional Asian food or not. I don't know, but it was delicious. Um, so that was a really great place. It wasn't too, it was like pretty casual, very casual actually. And I definitely would recommend it, especially if you're like me and like all the places that I was getting recommendations for, for dinner. Um, a lot of them, I just was like looking at the menu and I'm like, I'm just not in the mood for like, I don't eat steak. I kind of am picky. Like, I don't eat steak. I will, like, on the occasion, but 
I don't do like pork chops or anything. Like I don't want to get chicken at a restaurant that's like not even like that's not their specialty. Like you go somewhere to get something specific. Like you go to a steakhouse to get steak. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. So all of the recommendations I was getting, I just wasn't feeling the menus for like last night in particular. So I already got my fancy dinner um, two nights ago when I went to Hank's, I think it's called. When I went there, that was so delicious and I'm so glad that I got like one really good restaurant in. Um, and then the next time I come, I'll get more of those other restaurants in. But we still have today, just like not a fancy dinner today. Um, so anyway, we had dinner yesterday, it was really good. Went to Jenny's after, of course, and somehow, somehow our ice cream ended up being free again because their register wasn't working. So they were just like, it's on us. And I'm like, what is going on? I'm not posing it and I'm like so glad that it was free. So I'm like, what is going on though? Jenny's two days in a row and both times free, incredible. So. <sighs> today um checkout for the airbnb is at 11 and christina actually lives close by and she conveniently has off work today so i'm going to hopefully um take my stuff to her apartment so that my stuff can stay there and then I could just bop around because I won't have to leave to the to go to the airport until like three o'clock. So this morning though I'm gonna go out get a smoothie. I'm really freaking hungry so I just want like something clean and something that will make me feel really good and I'm like craving a smoothie. Um, and then while I drink my smoothie, I'm going to walk to Baba's to go get coffee. We are trying two new coffee shops today because I'm trying to squeeze in as many coffee shops as possible. So we're going to another two today. Um, so I'm gonna get my first coffee at Baba's and then I think I'm gonna text Christina and ask her if she wants to meet me for uh, coffee and like sit down and do some work at Island Provisions. I think those are the two places I want to try out today. After doing some research, it seems like those two places could be rather promising. So, yeah. And then for lunch, I'm thinking either of going to Leon's Oysters um, because I've heard amazing things about that. That was a big recommendation. Or, because I feel like I have to do that. Like, I'm not an oyster gal. I only had oysters once. I feel like oysters is something that you get to, like, share. Not, like, me sit down and have a bunch of oysters by myself. So I don't know if I want to do that or not yet. Um, I feel like it just has to be done while I'm here. But, like, if I don't want to, I, I won't. And then there's also this other place that I was recommended called Basic Kitchen which I'm pretty sure they just have like pretty basic items, but it looks really good. So I think those are the options for today. And then, I don't know, we'll just bop around and see what happens. Yesterday I did a lot before 12 o'clock, so today I'm sure I could do the same. Fit a bunch of stuff in before I head out this evening. But yeah, I'm just waiting for my clothes. They're in the dryer right now. I'm like trying to de-wrinkle them, but I'm packing my stuff up. I'm gonna get myself ready and then we'll head out.
have a feeling I didn't end off my entire travel vlog from Charleston so it is the next day I'm ending it off now I hope you guys enjoyed my little Charleston vlog I'll have like all of the places throughout the video why am I even saying this because they'll be throughout the video that I went um yeah any other like details maybe like outfit details and stuff like that will be linked below so I hope you guys enjoyed my Charleston vlog and if you have any questions about anything I Okay, of course my battery just died. I'm not going to like go and charge it just for the last words that I want to say, but everything will be linked down below as well. Oh, I did say that already, but if you have any questions about anything from the Charleston vlog, uh, definitely let me know. You can leave them in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram and I will be sure to get back to you. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys in the next video.